Um, but what we're going to be going through this morning is we're going to talk about our in-clinic categories. So we're going to be looking at our peels, our peel supporting products, as well as ampules and masks. Then we're going to be looking at our parasutical category. Our parasutical category is um, the category that's going to be based upon the skin condition. What is it that we're trying to treat? What is the skin acting like today? What is you know what is the skin condition du jour? Uh, so that's going to be like your serums and your other treatments for that. And then your essentials are going to be your daily drivers, your cleansers and masks and things of that nature. So first, let's talk about our in-clinic category. So we're gonna talk about our chemical peels that we have available here. So first we have our G Peel 30. Our G Peel 30 is a 30% glycolic acid peel. And what we know about glycolic acid is it's a very effective peel um, or, or acid. It's an alpha hydroxy acid because of its molecular size. Glycolic acid derived from sugar cane, really teeny tiny, so it rapidly falls through the layers of the skin. So it's a quick exfoliation, but it's also very easy to over exfoliate with. I'm sure some of us maybe have had some run-ins with glycolic before. So this is why we have it in our peel category, because here we're gonna be timing it, we're gonna be neutralizing it, so we can literally time how long those molecules are gonna fall through the skin how many layers it's gonna melt through, and then we can stop it immediately so you don't have to worry about over exfoliation here. What I wanna point out with both of these peels is this word here, nano-constructed fixotropic gel. A Little bit of a mouthful, but very important when we talk about our peels because this is what makes us really unique and different than other peel lines out there. So nano-construction means we've taken the molecule and we've made it even smaller. So this is really important for glycolic because remember, glycolic by nature is really, really small. So now I've made it even smaller. So what this means instead of rapidly falling through the skin, it's now going to fly through the skin, okay? Because it's so small, it drops very quickly. So even though it says it's a 30%, because of the molecular size, I want you guys to write this down, it acts more like a 50%. Isn't that amazing? And because of the Derm Shield technology in it, it's going to be comfortable. Again, imagine putting a 50% glycolic peel on your skin without Derm Shield. I'd be hitting the ceiling. But now with this, people barely feel it. They might feel a little tingle, they might feel a little zip zap, but like I said, it comes up and then it comes right down. So the G Peel 30, 30%, but it acts more like a 50%. That nano-constructed gel also allows us to apply those tiny little molecules very evenly across the surface of the skin. It also keeps them very stable. When you have a molecule that small, sometimes it's hard to keep it stable in a liquid, so we have it in that fixotropic gel for stability as well. Um, so that is our G Peel 30. Then we have our P Peel 20. And our PPL20 is going to be a blend of peruvic acid and lactic acid. This is your big guns here. This is the, the most intense peel that you're gonna have with us here at noon in Canada. So we're gonna have a 20% peruvic acid. And peruvic acid is interesting because it's not an alpha hydroxy and it's not a beta hydroxy, but it's known as an alpha keto. So it's kind of in its own little classification. And what's interesting is we all have peruvic acid in our bodies as we're sitting here. It lives in our muscles. So if you've ever gone to get a massage, you know, they, your massage therapy is like, ooh, you're a little crunchy right here. And you're like, I know, I can feel it, right? That, that crunchiness, she's like, oh, we gotta work that lactic acid out. That lactic acid was once peruvic acid. What happens is when we get muscle strain or tear or injury, peruvic acid living in your muscles converts into lactic. So right off the bat, on a chemistry level, we recognized, oh, well, there's some sort of common thread between peruvic and lactic. I bet they play nice together, and they do. So what we found is in an oxygen-rich environment, meaning if we topically apply peruvic acid, it will not convert into lactic acid, but it will work alongside lactic acid together, kind of like peanut butter and jelly. Works really nice. So we added that 20% peruvic with a 20% lactic. Again, these are gonna be nano-constructed, so they penetrate rather quickly through the skin. 
And we know that lactic acid at a 5% or higher can help lighten, brighten, tighten, hydrate, and exfoliate. So it's a very multifunctional ingredient derived from milk, you know, the sugars in milk. So now you have this pyruvic acid, which is great for breaking up hyperpigmentation, great for being more accelerated exfoliation for age management, and also wonderful for acneic patients to reduce that retention hyperkeratosis. So you're gonna have this wonderful formula here for more advanced treatment. And after lunch, when we talk a little bit about our protocols and I go into doing my demo, you'll see how we could have some fun. We can do some layering. We can get a little bit more funky and fun in the treatment room. It's not like, oh, I have two peels. Uh, uh, uh. We have more than two peels because we can mix, we can match, we can layer, we can do all sorts of things. So we'll do that after lunch and we'll have some fun with that.